that'll trap how many people watch you sail away and always wondering why you never promise to come back someday maybe thinking you are holding all the pieces in your hand or they drifting through your fingers like the endless desert sand. That's Charlie Daniels. Uh, I'm a happy camper. We're working on exercise three. This is the first video. What I did uh, in the background, I went to where this code is and uh, I just made a copy of it so we could work where we left in exercise two. Um, I don't think this is going to pose any problems. If it does, I'll backtrack and do something different. And uh, the song I opened with was uh, Charlie Daniels' Saddle Tramp. You know, an excerpt, that's basically the chorus. Um, anyway, uh, radio listener, electriceasel.com, Inc. And we're programming Android. We're doing the notepad example in the getting started section. And this is exercise three where we make it all happen. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into note edit. And we are going to make this a more uh, production grade kind of program. That's what they basically have you do. If you uh, played around with exercise 2 in either your emulator or your G1 uh, what you probably found if you hit the back button it crashes and things like that and uh, this exercise 3 uh, resolves some of those things now the first thing we're going to do um, is go into the node edit class and uh, Let's see what we got here. Um, string title. Okay, in the extras over here, we're going to delete these two lines. And that's because it isn't going to be bundled as an extra. What it's going to be is uh, it's going to pass a row ID to the program and either a row ID or null and if it passes the row ID it's going to pull the information directly from the database we're actually going to add the database code and uh, so these extras where we brought the key title and the key body over were good for getting your feet wet with intents but to make a formal thing that uh, you know, handles the status state and can uh, lose focus and gain focus. It's not best practice. So let's delete these two. And uh, then we're going to delete this. So this just checks those extras. And uh, then I'll do a little cut and paste. We want um, to bring in a declaration of the database as we scroll up. Let's put it here. And this is the MDB helper class, which is giving me a squiggly, and let's see, uh, it hasn't been used yet. A lot of languages do that. Yeah, you put it here, but not using it. <laughs> uh, okay. And what else are we going to do? Scroll down through this. And uh, okay, in the onCreate, we're going to open the database. And um, if you recall, when we open the database, it checks to see if it exists. And uh, if it does, it'll uh, if it does exist, it'll just open it. If it doesn't exist, it'll create it, which is a nice feature. 
And that, and that goes back all the way back to X size 1, but now we're going full circle. We're bringing the database into the node edit class. And it, <coughs> it just makes it a more general adapter. Okay. And what else are we going to do? Um, we're all the way up to step 3. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, we gotta look at the code that currently initializes row ID. Now, where would that be? Uh, row ID equals null. We gotta find which one is that. Um, hmm. Oh, here it is. Uh, would help if I practice for doing these videos. <laughs> eh, what are you gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. And okay, what is it we're getting rid of? This sets the raw ID. Uh, it bundles extras. It grabs the extras, and if extras not equal to null, it, it'll get the raw ID. This is gonna be done a little differently. And uh, what we're going to do here, and I hope I didn't delete too much. I don't think I did. And we're going to replace it with this. And this is a pretty nifty piece of code, actually. Uh, let's what this basically does, uh, now I'm using my Perl vision a little bit because this syntax is very pearl like and uh you know correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think i am um it's basically saying m row id which we declared up here as a private long is uh equal to saved instance state not equal to null now if saved instance state is something then uh it's going to do this one after the question mark. The question mark, this is basically if this, then this, else this. So what it's saying is if saved instance state has something, so in other words, we lost focus and we saved the instance, then go into the instance state, get along, and what you do is the notes be uh, DB adapter get row ID. So the instance state is going to have the row ID in it. Otherwise, row ID is equal to null. Now, this next one checks. If row ID is equal to null, that means we don't have any saved instances. Um, extras uh, of type bundle is equal to get intent get extras now these extras are a little different we're going to actually go into the other code and remove all the extras except for row id and here it is extras get long row id and uh, let's if extras not equal to null otherwise um, row id is equal to null and we will handle that later on. Um, yeah, we're at like 9.12 and you know it's like 8.15 New York time. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, sign off now. This is Radio Listener from Radio Listeners Electric Easel.com Inc. And uh, you know we made good progress. We finished step three and uh, some of the stuff is really good. I'll try before I, you know, traverse this at lightning speed to give a little commentary on what's achieved. It, it's, uh, it's really nice stuff because what it basically does, it, it makes it uh, bulletproof. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure those playing around with it can find some hole somewhere, but uh, that's what patches are for. But, 
this is looking good. Anyway, I'm running over. Again, radio listener from radiolistenersletricgeezle.com. Thanks for listening.